How much do you recollect of the incident, if anything, uh, the, the, the very graphic aftermath as well? Yeah, it was awful. It was really difficult. Uh, 95 was a really hard year. Uh, Mercedes had a high expectations for the results. Car didn't work really well in 95. Also, what happened with Nigel Mansell, he arrived to the team, but didn't, didn't least last too long. Uh, very difficult year. And then, then the accident. I mean, wow. Uh, there was a tire explosion. Uh, and of course, it was in a most horrible corner where the speed is really high. Uh, so I hit the barrier, cracked my skull. Uh, but there was a good thing. There was just a medical team was just in that corner, based. Hospital was 200 meters away. So there was a lot of positive things. Uh, but that really, that really, I think, helped me to appreciate the life. <laughs> Uh, it helped me to slow down, and and I afterwards, what I've been thinking about it, it felt like before my accident, I was I was always running flat out, without really didn't know how to walk. So uh, it teach me to learn to walk first and run after. Yeah. So so I was more relaxed after, and I was. But all that took. It took a while, uh, and it was a tough few weeks, I'm sure. Um, at the time of the accident, I mean, they saved your life with a tracheotomy, for, oh, yeah. for sure. Um, what are your recollections of that and, and the way you reflect on that? Well, when I lost the control, I remember when I lost the control. And I remember when I was in a car, I couldn't move. You know, I tried to move, but I had no chance, so I just decided to just relax. <laughs> That's what comes to my mind. And then, then the doctors came and then I passed out. And in the hospital, they kept me sleep overnight uh, because I cracked my skull. So they had to do certain things to keep me still and, and not to, otherwise if I wake up, I start panicking or something. And uh, I woke up. The family was flying over to Australia. Uh, but team, Ron, Ron did everything to protect me. Uh, and also the Ron's wife was there, Lisa. And they came to see me and I think they were quite terrified to see what I looked like. Uh, it was awful, awful time. Yeah. You know, to feeling and, so ill. Yeah, and, and, and the physical treatment, because I think you were still in Australia, what, a month later? Yeah. Uh, and that was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, I was what about... What you had to go through then? Yeah, I was, I was about a month in, in, uh, in, in Australia in a hospital and, and going through all kinds of tests, you know. Uh, you know, cracking the skull, you know, it's, it's not fun, you know, uh, uh, because it's because you have all the senses and everything for the smelling and taste and your vision, your hearing. Uh, everything has to be checked that everything is functioning correctly. And every day, constantly testing. Uh, I don't want to tell the details, but yeah, <laughs> it, it, it definitely was a very hard time. And, and it was, what I remember, it was just constantly waiting, painkillers, tablets all the time. To, to take the pain away. And massive headaches. Couldn't walk, couldn't go anywhere, so... Uh... But how soon during the course of this process were you starting to think about racing again? It took a really long time. Uh, I just wanted to live. I just wanted to get rid of the pain. That was the main purpose of my, my, my feeling that time. There was no any interest of the motor racing. And it took a long time uh, to start thinking about it, even motor racing. It was just important that way I can walk and, and talk normally and, you know, and sleep normally. And that was the, just the main thing. And, and it makes me to understand how fragile the life is. You know, you live only once. And, and uh, there's so many good things in a life that way, you know, when something like that happens, it makes you think that's it. The, the life is, you know, this is over. Mm. Getting in a car and going fast again uh, and going as fast as you were 
going during the course of 95 uh, as well. What sort of demons do you have to overcome to be able to do that? Very difficult, very difficult. I mean, uh, 95, uh, going to 96, 97, the team was pushing so hard for the new technology, uh, new ideas for the suspension, for the steering, uh, all kind of things. That way, when we went testing, we had quite a few failures, you know, going flat out on a straight line and rear suspension breaks, and you go 350, you know, it's, that's, that makes you think again, like, Mika, Mika, come on, what are you doing, you know, you know. <laughs> But then something says in the head that way, you know, I have a mission here. I've been doing this sport all my life. I'm here to win, you know. Let's continue until that happens.